coming together. So what we are saying is, let's come together, let's form a unit where we can all pull strings from one another. Because every commodity has something to give to the other commodity, which will enrich them. So we, first of all, we must uplift the carrying capacity of the land. How do we do that? We identify arable land and we, uh, um, um, what's the word? we develop that land so that the carrying capacity of the land is lifted up. And the way of farming we are doing is not modernized. We are farming all ways, all traditional ways. And understand the tradition and the culture that goes with stock farming. But it is not viable. The modern agriculture says, if my animal has to walk two kilometers a day to find feed, it's going to eat a little, but it's going to burn all the energy that it ate all day. So it's not going to work. So we need to bring our animals closer together, and they need to be fed out of a bag, or the food must be produced. So now we are saying, on all cumbridge land, there's arable land. Let's develop that arable land. And there is vegetable farmers, and there is cattle farmers. So let them say, okay, there's 30 hectares that is arable and that can be productive. Let's give 15 hectares, goes to vegetables, 15 hectares goes to um, cattle farmers, which will be in the rotation of one another, because you cannot do crops on one land forever. You will drain the soil and it will become bad. So there needs to be rotation. The cattle farmers, on their 15 hectares, whether it is uh, a grain that will be produced, like corn, which will be harvested, you know, like a granular corn that is given to, to animals, or it is fodder that is bale, and then you, you make silage, which is a method of throwing molasses, salts, pro, um, uh, uh, fodder, and high protein value food together, and you feed your animals. So, and then pig farmers, pig farmers are running to enterprises like uh, uh, fruit and veg, spas to collect old rotten vegetables. But there's a vegetable farmer on his front door, but he's not eating the, uh, uh, vegetables. For <coughs> the vegetable farmer can only harvest 70% of what he's producing. So if a vegetable farmer is planting 10,000 cabbages a week, he can only harvest 7,000, 3,000 in waste. What is the vegetable farmer doing? He's plowing into the land, but he's not giving it to his fellow farmers. So what we are saying is, let's all get together, all communities, <coughs> and work together for a better, uh, for, so that we can all move forward. Yeah. And then when we face problems, we face it together. Yeah. Because you've got a problem, and I've got a problem. Our problem is actually the same, but we're not communica communicating with each other. And we want to solve it in our own way. Yeah. And there is power in <coughs> unity. If we cannot unify a community land and saying that we are of one and we are this one. Not yeah. I am this guy, and I'm this guy, and I'm that guy. We will never be able to move forward. Mm. So the, the, the plan in a nutshell is, is that different commodities will pull strings from each other, and I'll explain this as an example. The cattle farmers, they pull strength and they get their feed from the vegetable farmer, which is in the rotation of the land that is, uh, 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 of the arable land that is made. Pig farmers are going to uh, pull uh, strength out of vegetable farmers, because they get the waste <coughs> from the land and they don't have to drive distances for it because the vegetable farm is at the front door. So, and diesel prices are so high, you have to drive around to get your food, it's going to cost too much money. Mm -hmm. And then the vegetable farmers, they uh, 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 pull benefit because we have to throw uh, fertilizer, fertilize our fields with animal manure, which need to be paid for. But I've got a pig farmer and a cattle farmer on my front door that can give me manure. So we can, there's zero wastage. It is mm -hmm. a, all in a circle and we're all working and moving together for a better uh, South Africa and that we can actually produce. What you're sitting now, we're sitting with cattle farmers that are 60 cattle, but you ask them how many cattle do you sell this year now? Mm. You said with pig farmers, they got, they start the year with 10 pigs, they finish the year with five pigs. Did you sell it? No, they died. Why? Because you don't have water. Mm. So what we're saying, we need funding. There needs to, first of all, there needs to be a budget. Secondly, there needs to be a committee that makes these decisions and saying what is the plan. And then there has to be a solid plan and it needs to be enforced. Saying that, listen here, you've got 60 cattle, which is, one of, some of your cattle is 14, 15 years old. Why is your cattle 14, 15 years old? They must have been slaughtered when you were three years old. So let's come together, let's sell your cattle. It stays your money, it stays your cattle. But we are going to buy, build feedlots and we're going to produce our own food. And your animal is going to stand here for four months and you're going to sell it, you make a profit, you buy animals again. So you can actually produce into the red, uh, red meat market. Because now we are firm on, uh, they, I cannot recall of one farmer on communist land which is actually producing in the red meat market. 
Mm. We are just ordering animals. We are animal keepers and we are not farmers. So we make principles, we, we mod modify communist land and we enforce modern uh, agricultural principles. We must enforce it because otherwise we, we will never move forward. I mean, as, as this other gentleman said, we already have 8 um, million people, or million people, in, uh, million people in South Africa, and it's going to grow more and more and more. So today our problem is cattle walking around in rural areas and accidents. Tomorrow our problem is we cannot provide for our cattle. Because we're sitting on land, we, we, we don't produce. You're supposed to produce 200 tons or 300 cattle a year, but we are doing five. Because we are not working together. So. I'm just I'm, I'm presenting this, and I, and I want you all to, to, to go to your communist land and your fellow uh, uh, communities and talk about it and assess what, what different commodities is there mm. so that we can make a model of this and show government, because we need to show government it works. Mm. So first of all, there needs, needs to be a model in place. And then we go to communist land and we enforce it on all communist land. And it seems like it will take forever to do it, but it won't take forever. It needs a budget. If, it, if it's going to uh, rely on private sector and let's farm a bill, save a bit, and do this, it's going to take forever. But there is money for programs like this. So we need to just enforce it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much.